everybody. My name is Hue. Today, I bring this book again and we will read one story in here. This story name is The Monster Behind the Fence. I wondered what monster will look like when it was behind the fence. Let's try. Fancy loved her little dog, Tasha, and Tasha loved Francie. When Francie was at home, Tasha was happy all day long. But when she went off to school, Tasha was miserable. He would howl loudly as soon as she left the house. Then. Francie's mom would put Tasha out into the garden and so she could have a bit of peace and quiet. Not that Tasha keep quiet. He would bark and yap, then yap and bark until Francie came home from school. Oh, Francie just go to school. Why did, why, why did Tasha need to bark until Tashi come home? Could you, you keep quiet to have some peace? One morning, when Tasha had stopped barking for a minute, he discovered a hole in a garden fence and wiggled underneath. I've never been in the wood before, thought Tasha as she as he crumbled out on on the other side of the fences. The wood looked so interesting. He forgot all about barking and yapping for once, and scrambled towards the trees. Ooh, this picture show me. Mm. Tasha, Tasha has found a little brown rabbit. How adorable. Hi there, a little brown rabbit called to Tasha. You're new round there. Come with me and meet a few of my best friends. An ex excellent idea, replied Tasha without and without so much as a bark or a yap, he followed the little brown rabbit into the wood. A gray and white badger poked his nose out of a deep hole, and a fox cub peeped out from behind a tree. A hedgehog stopped by to see what was going on. Wow, so many. A hedgehog, a, a fox, and a badger. Oh, uh, Daisy's bird was, was the bunny's best friend? I'm getting sure. This book, mm, this book doesn't say it about this bird. Each other has come to take a look at Tasha. It was so good to meet you all, said Tasha, who was always wanted to have some friends. Strange, I've never seen any of you before, and I live close by. Yes, because this is his first time to saw, saw this rabbit, brown rabbit's friend, best friend. None of us go beyond the edge of the wood, whispered the beggar. You are all too frightened. Tasha's tail stopped. Stop wagging at once. A terrible prince monster lived there behind the garden fence, the hedgehog explained. There's a hole underneath the fence. And 
and if the ever the monster escapes, it will gobble up every single one of us. The fox cub add. Tash, Tasha pricked up her his ears. None of us have never ever seen the monster," said the little brown rabbit. "But we can hear the scary noise he makes all day long." Tasha looked puzzled. He never seen this moment, and he and I live behind the the fences. I know who is a monster. This one, remember, remember, he he barking all day, and I has reason. Read, uh, read this one. But we can hear the scary noise he make all day long. I remember a sentence that tell, Tasher. Bark all day long until Francie come home from school. Remember, so the monster is in. And so this and these animal think Tasha was a monster because he lived in front of a fence and he lived behind the fence. We've guessed who the monster. No, no, no. Here, here. I'm sorry. When Tasha heard how worried his new friends were, he began to bark very loudly. I'm going to find him, this terrible monster, and chase him away for you. The little dog sounds of Francis, Francis, in a flash. Every one of Tasha's friends van vanished. Franny was left all alone. Tasha stopped barking at one and looked around in surprise. Where, where had anyone gone? After a while, to his delight, he saw a little brown rabbit hopping towards him. With the others close behind. Oh, we guess who the monster is? They showed. Shout! It's you! Make that noise again! Cried the little brown rabbit eagerly. You mean barking? Laughed Tasher. And he barked and barked until the sound echoed. Echoed around the wood, and this time, none of the animals ran away. Instead, one by one, they followed Tasha through the hole underneath the fences and scrambled into the garden. When Francie got home from school that afternoon, it seemed strangely. Quiet. Tasha wasn't bark barking as usual. Straight away, the little girl ran out into the garden. Perhaps something was wrong. What if her little dog has run away? Francie was astonished to find Tasha in the middle of the lawn with the animals from the wood. You keep on barking because you felt lonely when I was at school," smiled Francie. "All you need was a few friends. Now I know Tasha was a dog. Dog was a dog. But when Francie go out to school." He bark and bark, but now he has some friends. He he don't need to bark anymore. Now he could be quiet. Okay, what you got? Were you guys ready to summaries? I bet you said yes.
So that means summary is my best part and I like the summary editing. So it could be making shorter, it could be blah 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 It could be short like blah 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 and then that. Okay, let's summarize it. The monster behind the fences. Francie, Francie had a dog named Tasher, and Francie loved Tasher. Tasher loved Francie too. When Francie stay at home, Tasher will happily all day. But when Francie go to school, um, Tasher will. Bark and bark and bark until until Francie go home from school. One day he barked so loud that Francie's mom take him out to the garden, and he want to have some peace and quiet at the garden. Tasher saw a hole in in a hole under the, the garden fence. He didn't. He haven't seen this this hole before. Then he tried to get out from that hole. Like this is a hole. This is a fence. This is Tasher. And he tried to go to the other side of the fences, in front of it. Okay. Then, when he in the other side, he see the woods. He see the big trees. And and he saw a rabbit. Says, "Hi there." Is a rabbit take talking to him. Uh, uh, Tasher said, "Hello, my name is Tasher. I'm Tasher." Then the rabbit said, "Do you want to see some of my best friends?" The rabbit asked. Then Tasher answered, "What an ex excellent idea!" Then that brown rabbit mm, called up her friends, a a gray and black, gray and white beggar, go out from from a Deep hole. A fox, a fox cub, go peep out from a tree. A hedgehog go out to see what happening. Then Tasher saw them. Mm. They said, "We haven't seen you." Then Tasher said, "It's." A very fun to meet you all. Then Tasher and and the animals go go through the holes and go into the garden. The animals said, "We be careful. There was a hole in there." Wait, they not go, go in. Uh, yes, they go in the hole. Then, then the animal said, there was a a monster lived behind these fences. A bad, a badger said. A fox. Said, said next. Mm. It have a 
big hole on there. If if a monster escapes, the monster will cult one of us. Then the hedgehog said, uh, no, the rabbit said, we haven't seen this monster, but he, we heard, hear, hear the, the sound it make. Then, then, um, then, um, Tasher looked puzzled. Then he started to say, I, I bark and, and chase. I walk until the monster out and chase that monster for you. He bark and bark. That time, all the animals run away because it was too scary. Then, Tasha was alone. To his surprise, he didn't know everyone. Everyone were. Then he saw a brown. Then he saw a brown rabbit hop by him. And the other animals too. And then they shouted, "We we know who we know who is the monster." Then they added, "It was you." And then Tashi said, "I just bark." Then when Tashi home, Tash, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tashi, Tash, no, Tash, Tash, mm, Tasher is a dog, Ramsey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tasher so much now, now I forgot Ramsey, now I remembered it, when Ramsey got home. Francie didn't hear any barking of her dog. She looked in the garden when she saw some animals and Frank and Taser. Tasher. Tasher, okay? Then she hugged him and said, You're all barking until I go home. So now you just need to have some friends. The end. Goodbye, everybody. I think this is quite long because it's like a really long story.